Hey, how's it going, you floof lovers? Leo here. Double credits weekend is back in Warframe, and I've been grinding the index until my eyes bled out with a do not disturb sign on the door to my grandmother's grandmother basement. I've been doing it with a squad which I believe to be one of the best at farming the index, and incidentally, one of the best ways in the game to make credits. With this setup you can get about 4 million credits per hour without any boosters, 8 million per hour with just a credit booster, and this weekend only 16 million per hour with the double credits event. So I've been getting a truckloads of credits so far and in this video I'm going to show you the team that I've been using to farm it as easily and efficiently as possible. So, we're starting off with the most proficient frame at killing enemies in the index, Mesa. Now, there are other frames which do very well in the index, but Mesa deletes everything she looks at. And because the enemies have two spawn locations, we will be using two Mesas. That's right, what's better than Mesa? Another Mesa. Because she's only good at killing, we need a frame to pick up the index points off the ground and for that we have two options, either Rhino or Revenant. They both get the job done, but in my opinion Rhino has the edge for two reasons. First, because he's much more accessible and everybody and their mother has one. And secondly, because sometimes he gives the roar buff for over 150% bonus damage, which is super super nice. Especially after round 3 when enemies become very bullet spongy. But you can look for either one of them in the recruitment chat and pick whichever one you find first. Now the most important thing that index carriers need to know is when to bank in the points and that's at 15 points plus 8 bonus. That gives you the biggest bonus and implicitly lets you complete the rounds the fastest. Trust me, the difference between a Rhino who knows when to bank in and one who doesn't is very noticeable. And finally, the last frame we need is one that provides an incredible amount of support and synergy, Wisp. Not only that she gives defense in form of HP and HP regen, offense in form of fire rate and utility in form of movement speed and stun, but she's also pretty good at holding points because she's invisible when bunny hopping. So she can help out Rhino if he's holding too many points and we only need a few to bank in for the next round. Her job is to put two sets of modes, one for each base. Then she can assist with DPS and assist with index point pinging and also to carry points if need be. So the way we play this is pretty simple. First of all you want to queue up for high risk index and aim for 4 rounds. The only reason you want to go for multiple rounds is to save yourself the time it takes to load in and out of the mission. After the 4th round, enemies become too tanky so it's not really worth the time it takes to kill them. Once you're in a mission, each Mesa goes to one base. Where you spawn at at the beginning, that is your own base. Where you bank in the points, that is the enemy base. Generally speaking, the majority of time, enemies will spawn at their own base, so you might want to send the strongest Mesa there. That Mesa will be doing the vast majority of the killing, while the one camped in your own base will be watching Netflix. <laughs> However, this isn't bad because sometimes enemies manage to sneak away with points, so it's good to have a Mesa for defense. Also, after about round 3, enemies become quite strong, so it's good to have both Mesas team up. Next up we have Wisp who will be placing her two sets of modes, one for the friendly base and another for the enemy base. 
there is one good spot on each map where to place these as you can see from the clip playing in the background so make sure your wisp knows where and she doesn't just place them in some obscure corner of the map where nobody ever goes. And finally, Rhino is your designated index point carrier. So anybody else picking them up is making a mistake, unless he asks for help with closing the score, in case he's carrying too many points and he wants to save them up for the next round. Always remember 15 plus 8 bonus. Alright, now let's talk about the builds starting with Mesa. She has only three abilities we need to be concerned about. Her second ability, Shooting Gallery, is a damage buff. Her third ability, Shatter Shield, is a defense buff. And her fourth ability, Peacemaker, is a channeling ability which turns her into an aimbot. Because she needs to keep her two buffs up, and channel her Peacemaker at the same time, we are concerned about her efficiency. As such, we use two duration mods, namely Continuity and Narrow Minded. This will not only increase the duration of her buffs, but also lower the energy drain per second on her Peacemaker. We complement this with Fleeting Expertise to reduce the ability cost even further, and finally, with the help of Rage, we convert some of the damage taken into energy. If for some reason you don't like Rage, you can use a Rank 4 Streamline, which together with the Rank 4 Fleeting Expertise, will give you the maximum of 175 efficiency. In testing, this isn't as good as having Rage, but it's also a matter of preference. And finally, increasing our total energy reserve with flow is very important, so we don't go running about looking for energy all the time. Next up, all her abilities benefit from strength, so adding intensify is important. Because in the index you can't bring a companion, using mods such as enemy radar and vigilante pursuit to see the enemy location is quintessential. Lastly, her augment Mesa's Waltz allows her to move while channeling her Peacemaker and it's a quality of life that I simply can't play without. Then again, this is also down to preference. Mesa is only as good as her Peacemakers, so you want to build them for a high amount of radiation, flat damage, critical chance, critical damage and multi-shot. Note that the toughest enemies in the index have alloy armor, which is weak against radiation. Status chance is not important because proccing radiation in this case is pointless. You want to hit them hard and hit them fast. If you're having energy problems, bring Xenric for energizing dash, but do note that it won't work while you're channeling Peacemaker so try to stay out of it as much as possible to benefit from energizing dash. Next up we have Thick Boy Rhino. Now, building Rhino for tank is pretty straightforward. His iron skin scales with armor and ability strength, so that's what we're going for. Steel Fiber, Armor Agility, Gladiator Aegis for armor, Intensify, Transient Fortitude, Blind Rage and Power Drift for Ability Strength. The important ones are the Augments. Iron Shrapnel allows you to recast Iron Skin whenever you want, which is useful for rebuffing yourself and not running into a pack of enemies with almost depleted Iron Skin. An Ironclad Charge is your bread and butter for making super buffed Iron Skins. So you use your first ability to ram into a pack of enemies and then you cast Iron Skin. If you have trouble finding enough enemies to ram, I suggest you use Xenuric's Void Singularity, which allows you to pull enemies towards you while in Void Mode. Something like this. Wow. 
I'm not saying that you'll always be able to get 300,000 plus iron skins, but that's how you do it if you wanted to. And finally we have Wisp. I've already covered her in depth in a previous episode of Squad Setup, link in the cards, so I suggest you go watch that if you want a full breakdown. With this build you're able to get about 1200 life and 83% speed multiplier, which is the maximum I've seen anyone do. All in all, this quest setup is quite fun to play, easy to pull off and very efficient. All these frames are popular, so it's easy to find people to join your squad. At the moment, I think that spamming index with this setup is pretty much the best way to get credits in the game. Another good way would be to do Profit Taker with Chroma, but that's a topic for another video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this setup and how much index can you stomach to grind. If you found this video helpful then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if you do then I will personally visit you on your orbiter and give you a fist bump. That's right, this is not a scam. So clean out your spider webs, dust off your knuckles and prepare for inspection. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are and hope to see you in the next video. Take care everybody!